So you want an interesting Black Mirror episode? Let's take a Chinese balloon that's spying right now over America and America, the Biden administration, the military, based on the recommendation from the Joint Chiefs, is not doing anything about it. According to U.S. officials, here we go, the balloon is currently traveling at an altitude well above commercial air traffic and does not present a military or physical threat to the people on the ground. Ryder said, adding, the U.S. military decided against shooting the blue down because it didn't want to get debris on the ground in the ninth least populated state in the country. It's like seven people per square mile. While the balloon's current flight path carries it over a number of sensitive sites. Let me say that again. Really, really slow for you. According to officials, the balloon carries it over a number of sensitive sites like ICBM, Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Sites, in Montana. The official said it does not present a significant intelligence gathering risk. The balloon is assessed to have limited additive value from an intelligence collection perspective. Uh, the U.S. says it's taking steps nevertheless to protect against foreign intelligence collection of sensitive information, like allowing a balloon that entered the continental United States to travel across it, including over sensitive sites. We are also tracking what abilities it could have in gaining insights and continue to monitor the balloon as it, as it travels over the continental United States. The U.S. believes Chinese spy satellites in low Earth orbit are capable of offering similar or better intelligence. So why would you ever shoot down a spy balloon from China? Especially when we're on the verge of going to war with Russia, why would you not shoot down a balloon that's gathering intelligence over the continental United States in real time, like you could physically see it, because according to this, it's the size of three buses. If you traveled overseas, you worked overseas, you probably saw the balloon that had the camera that you used for force protection. It's like a lot bigger than that. And it's from China. Um, right now, the U.S. government is engaging with Chinese government, both through Chinese embassy in Washington and U.S. diplomatic missions in China. Thank God we're talking to China about this because, man, that would be bad if we didn't talk about this stuff. Um, with a strong recommendation of senior military uh, leaders, including the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Mark Milley, the general, do not take kinetic action due to the risk to safety and security of people on the ground from the possible debris field. Um, it's Montana. Um, I thought the joke uh, on the comments on my post on my Instagram at mike.a.glover um, when saying uh, that the Chinese launched a spy balloon to go over Black Rifle Coffee to uh, observe the opening of Andy Stump's new Black Rifle Coffee in Kalispell. I thought that was pretty funny. Biden has declared China America's most consequential geopolitical challenge. You think? Um, I'm starting to get, to get the impression that Biden might have some deeper-seated relationships with the Chinese. I mean, this is pretty bizarre. Any president, at least in my lifetime, would have shot this balloon down instantaneously and made a statement in front of the American people. You do not screw with our country. But Biden, according to his administration and military officials, is just letting this one ride. Or just track it. No big deal. I think if I was going to do a military operation and I wanted to um, assess security, I would launch this balloon and see what the government does. And if the government did nothing at all, I, I would pretty much examine that that country was weak. Um, but again, you know, I'm, I'm not in the military anymore and this isn't what I do. So I guess this is just what happens now. Um it says, America's most consequential geopolitical challenge is China, and competition between the two major global military powers is intense. Biden was brief and took advice not to shoot balloon down, in capital letters, on CNN. The president has been briefed on the balloon's movements and requested military options on how to deal with it. Um, Biden took Milley's advice not to order the balloon shot down, and the official stressed that it does not pose a military threat, emphasizing that the administration acted immediately to protect against the collection of sensitive information. Okay, maybe we're scrambling the feed, maybe we're gathering information on the balloon, but it's about principle, 
And it's about the world's perspective on our strength and our weakness. I don't know, man. I, I just think if you reflect back on presidents, even Obama, he would have shot that balloon down instantaneously. He would have done something about it. But now it's the national media, and what we're doing is absolutely nothing. The context for what, what it was, it, it would put some things on station in the event that a decision was made to bring this down over Montana. So we wanted to make sure we were coordinating with civil authorities to empty out airspace around that potential area. Uh, U.S. military gained expanded access to Philippines based in efforts to counter China. However, it was ultimately the strong recommendation of joint leaders, including Mark Milley. Why not shoot it down was the question. And we have to, we have to do the risk-reward here, officials said. So the first question is, does it pose a threat, um, a physical kinetic threat to individuals in the United States and the U.S. homeland? Our assessment, it does not. Does it pose a threat to civilian aviation? Our assessment is it does not. Does it pose a significantly enhanced threat on the intelligence side? Our best assessment right now is it does not. What? Like what? Um, so given that profile, we assess the risk of downing it even if the probability is low in a sparsely populated area of debris falling and hurting someone, that it wasn't worth it. This sounds like um, Hillary Clinton talking about um, what difference does it make when responding to our men and women in the government and in uniform when they needed help in Benghazi. What difference does it make? We say it wasn't worth it. It's never worth it. It's not worth it. Why? It's not worth it. Why shoot down something? Just let it ride. Montana's home to fields of underground Minuteman 3 intercontinental ballistic missile silos, one potential target for the Chinese espionage. That's on the news, open source. The senior official said on Thursday that at the risk level changes, the U.S. will have options to deal with this balloon. We have communicated to the Chinese the seriousness with which we take this issue, but we have made it clear we will do whatever is necessary to protect our people and our homeland. I want to know what you guys think down below. This is pretty crazy to me as somebody who has an expertise academically and experience wise in national security, counterterrorism, um, all the things, homeland security, especially. Um, this is bewildering to me and I don't understand it. Maybe you do leave your comments down below. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification tab and let us know what you think till next time. If there is a next time, peace out.